Oh yeah, dang. Dead guys that I have ever, I've never even heard. Oh my God. Look at that. Oh. Hey! <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome to another adventure of LT Outdoors on the Ice. Um, this is a little mixed episode. Start things out here in Alcona County on a trout lake trying things out. And uh, did have some fun. I wouldn't say it's worth the walk though. And then we end up going up. Me and Rick head to Grayling and do some fishing up here. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy this. It's a mixed episode like I said. If you haven't already hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. Let me know what you think. Well, I gotta say, at least I made it. The worst part about doing a two-mile hike in the winter is being drenched from head to tail in uh, sweat. So now I'm gonna freeze the rest of the day. And I'll tell you what, it took. That was the worst hike I ever took in my life. Those hills are terrible, and that took me like two hours to get back here. Hopefully, we get into some fish. Let's get to work. As soon as I stop that camera and drop down. I had a fish. <laughs> oh man, he's spitting up bugs too. Look at this, guys. That's a pretty rainbow right there. Nice. I gotta measure it up. They gotta be 12 inches back here. I don't think he's gonna make that. I'm just happy to be on him because I've been, I literally. Drilled, I bet you 200 holes out here, guys. Nope, he's a 10, so he's going back. Pretty, pretty fish, though. All right. There we go. There we go. Looks like a good fish. Hey. <laughs> Definitely bigger. I put on a Northland Forge minnow jigging spoon because I was having a heck of a time hooking them on uh, on just a tungsten jig. That's a beautiful, beautiful trout right there. And I put a bubble gum A bomb on there too just to tip it with. I don't think this one's legal either. Like I said. So close, 11 and a half, 11 and a half. So this guy's going back in the hole. Beautiful. All right. Again, I dropped down the, it's a Northland Forge Minnow Jigging Spoon, tipped with an A-bomb. Freedom bait. Oh. Smaller one. Okay. Maybe not. <laughs> yep, another smaller. Got himself all tied up here. Probably a I'm not even gonna measure it. It's probably a nine. Pretty though. Nice shiny colors. Well, I gotta say for the time it took me to get back here and all the time it took me to find the fish definitely wasn't worth it not for the size of the fish i caught um but hey fished a new lake still caught fish that's always a plus stay tuned uh tomorrow i'm gonna head up north with rick and we're gonna try some trout fishing on a different couple lakes so hope you enjoy this if you haven't already hit that thumbs up hit that subscribe button let me know what you think Ooh, there we go Big fish, too. If this is a trout, it's big. I think it is. It's swimming like one.
It's got to be a monster. Oh, son of a... Probably would have been the biggest trout I'd ever caught through the ice. It was a trout because it was spinning a lot. Trout bass don't do that. Ooh, got one. Yep. Trout, it ain't as big as the last, but I just seen it flashing. Oh no, it's a bass. Never mind. Little one. That's about as big as I seen them caught online. The trout in here is supposed to average 18 inches. Yeah, they're big in here. If I had to guess, I'd say big bass. Yeah, I think it's a bass the way it's fighting. And it keeps getting me in the weeds. I mean, it is making some good runs, so there ain't supposed to be pike in here. Oh my God, dude, whoa. 
Oh my God, that is definitely a new record for me through the ice, guys. Good God. Yeah, I wish I had my scale. That thing is a tank. 20 and a half, guys, that's how big that was. So that is my, by far, that is the biggest largemouth I've ever caught through the ice. There we go. There we go. Oh, God. I had a big fish on for a second. Yep. Yeah, I was reeling him in. <laughs> There we go. See if I can keep that one on. It's fighting like a trout. Nope, not bass. Just a small bass. Oh, that's a nice one. Yeah, that's at least an eight, maybe nine. Darn right, man. Cause I just, I missed one and bent the rod over pretty good. I think it was a big gill. There we go. Bass. <laughs> God. That's a little bass. Yep, a little bass. Probably another little bass. Yep. <laughs> the little ones. Big shout out to my monthly patrons. Thank you guys so much for signing up to Patreon. Sign up today, guys. You can sign up for as low as a dollar a month, and it helps out a whole lot. Season at LT Outdoors has been brought to you by Freedom Baits. Go to freedombaits.com and use discount code LT Outdoors gets you ten percent off. Also, Widowmaker Lures. My favorite lures are on this website. Go to widowmakerlures.com, use discount code LT Outdoors gets ten percent off. Stone Tackle. StoneTackle.com has some of the best ice fishing tackle boxes available. Go to StoneTackle.com and use discount code LT Outdoors gets you fifteen percent off and tuned up custom rods. In this season you will see me use the precision noodle for panfish as well as the precision rod for walleye and perch. 
make sure you check out Tuned Up Custom Rods for awesome ice fishing rods. And if you're looking to get LT Outdoor Lures, you can visit these wonderful locations. When I wake up in the morning, I brush my teeth, I'm thinking about should I, should I brush with the bristles or should I just, just, just jam the handle down the back of my throat? Try to touch my uvula, just for the risk of it. Not that it will help promote dental hygiene, 